Hi friends, good morning to all see in this video. In this video, we are going to see about India Pools Housing Finance Limited. And uh, after, I think after a week or so, we are putting a video about India Pools Housing Finance because two latest news regarding India Pools Housing Finance has come. And in this video, we are going to see about it fully. So before going into this video fully, friends, if you are new to this channel, then click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares. And the first news about India Bull Housing Finance is that and the quarter third performance we said this share is showing uptrend momentum and the dividend also has been paid by the company. But India Bull Housing Finance has two problems we already said. In that the first problem is that the inspection of books of accounts by MCA. What is MCA? Ministry of Corporate Affairs which overlooks these industries, companies etc. The second thing is that it has a PIL against this company in Delhi. So what is PIL if you ask me guys? Public Interest Litigation it is a case filed by a group of members against India Bulls Group regarding soofing of friends and investing in other shell companies. So it was the main concern over India Bulls Housing Finance Limited. So what has basically happened to India Will Housing Finance, if you ask me friends, is that the MCA, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, has gone through its book over a year and MCA has confirmed that India Will Housing Finance does not have any such kind of probing of funds and uh, even though they are given their funds, they are retained it back and also the soothing of funds is not that much and the loans given to several parties are considered as standard assets. Now so what is standard loan and asset if you ask me friends. According to this RBA regulations and also the loan regulations, each and every housing finance companies and lenders has to classify their lenders as standard, substandard, doubtful and loss. So these two groups which are given loan to the India housing finance, they are classified as under standard assets and therefore there is no problem in it. So the first good news is that MCA, Ministry of Corporate Affairs does not find any problem in India World Housing Finance. So the second thing what I want to say is very very important friends, the Delhi's public interest litigation is on February 28th. According to our sources I think that the court hearing is on February 28, 2020 and it's very very important for India World Housing Finance to move up them. We already said in our uh, previous video regarding India Housing Finance is that once this public interest litigation against India Housing Finance Group is been cleared with the Delhi court, I think then the problem would be easily solved. And uh, we also said we can see a target of 400 rupees in India Housing Finance if and only if the Delhi High Court uh, case problem against India Housing Finance is going to be good. And the first good news has been taken over over India World Housing Finance is that the MC has given. But on February 28th, there is a last update regarding India World Housing Finance. The court case should turn out to be very, very good. If it does not turn out to be very, very good, then that also is not a problem because, because if the public industry indications fail, they can again raise a momentum through it. Because you should note when the Ministry of Corporate Affairs itself sees the accounts maintenance of India World Housing Finance being correct and also good, then there is no problem for India World Housing Finance Group and India World Group to escape from this Delhi High Court case. I mean, not escape, but a justice that can be given to India World Housing Finance should be very, very good. So, the last item regarding India World Housing Finance, if you ask me, friends, whether can I buy now, sell, or exit? The option is to me is to hold their shares. If you can take risk, you can definitely hold these shares because once and while this deadly high court problems again, the public interest litigation comes, India Bulls House clears that, then you can easily see a target of 400 rupees. And as you all know, the book value of the share is around already 400 rupees. And that is a main key factor to note. And also you should note a main point in India housing is that it has a huge amount of volatility. So always acquire when there is a correction in India Housing Finance and try to exceed on the high price if you are a short term trader. So if you are believing that India Housing Finance can all can see it out a thousand rupees again from where it started to fell down then definitely hold your positions back because you are going to make you reach 
uh, once a multi bagger and become multi bagger and now it is going to try again to move above this hindrances and reach a good of 400 rupees and we wish all of our friends who have seen this video all the best for trading in india housing grants if this enjoy video till now then make sure to subscribe button because you could get a latest updates regarding many shares thank you friends for once again seeing this video till now